and then I'm going to rinse these pretty good once I get them. When I get through with that, I'm going to show you the next step. Now these have all been washed and deveined, and I'm going to put them in the freezer. And by, we've been to cook. Alright, I got about a quarter stick of butter, and I'm going to add in about that much oil, maybe a little more, canola oil, and I'm going to add a bit of flour oil. Plain flour, no self rising, just plain flour. That's it. That's all. Alright, another thing I'm going to do. Hmm, Rosetta Rain Gumbo Filet Powder. I'm going to add that right into the root. Stir it in. Smell that. Oh yeah, babe. Yes, sir. Now let's see, I'm gonna strain this liquid. When I think I feel like I'm ready, I'm gonna strain this here liquid. Right straight over yonder into that part right there. Alright. I'm done with that. Now I'm gonna take this here. This is a nice thing right here. Up all that water from them shrimp heads in there, like that. Right and I'm gonna stir it. Alright, I've got me a big old onion, sweet onion, and a bell pepper, and I'm gonna chop it up fine and throw it in there. One thing, it ain't like it needs a little bit of salt. And it doesn't have as much of a fishy taste as I want it to have, so I'm going to put a salty fish sauce. Very good. I'm going to add a I'm going to add that much. Tighten her up, Dave. Eh? what you got to do. Fine. To give it that oyster flavor, this is some sauce that they make that uh, has made from oyster products. And what you do, shake the bottle, baby. Shake the bottle, baby. Twist it. What I do. Twist and shove. I don't need much of this. This is concentrated stuff. Go and make it taste like it has oysters cooked in it. But I don't have to add any oysters. <coughs> Alright. That's looking good. But we need to add one more thing. And that would be some of this keycap manna. Some amount is the other stuff. Now this is not salty. It will give it flavor and darken it. But it's not salty. what I'm talking about. Now, at this point in time, I've got it down to the point where I'm going to add the okra. Alright, I've added about two cups of chopped okra in there. I don't have my shrimp in there yet. I want this to be happy first, so I'm going to cover it up and let it kick another 5 or 10 minutes until that okra gets tender.
All right, it's looking like it's um, sticking up good with that with that over right there. So what I'm gonna do? Let y'all go along with me on a taste test. Let them kick around for about five minutes. That's all you got to do. The flavor's right. The rice is dead. Look how pretty that rice is. Here's the important part of the process. You're going to get the one shot of Mr. Bacardi, baby. Superior. Like that right there. Good shot of old Bacardi. Hello. And then what you're going to do is add it to the recipe. Like that right there, babe. <laughs> Let's see if we can find shrimps in our dining room. Look at that. Fresh shrimp. Right out of Mobile Bay, right there, babe. Uh, what do you got there, Paul? Paul got some good old gumbo with chicken and shrimp. Mm -hmm. Man, have one of them old big boys. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Later, Gator.